While most autonomous driving systems are designed to take the human behind the wheel out of the loop, Nissan is taking a different tact. Through its intelligent mobility division, Nissan has developed brain-to-vehicle technology. The system uses an EEG crown to read your brain waves, anticipate what you're going to do, and then help the car better respond to your actions, whether that's steering into a curve, accelerating, or braking. And it can help the car react up to a half second faster. The brain-to-vehicle technology is designed not only for novice drivers, but experienced drivers as well. Let's take a look at how it works. We are looking at enhancing manual driving and enhancing autonomous uh, riding. Well, I'm calling it riding already because you're, you're not controlling anything. What we imagine in the future in terms of uh, how driving will be mm -hmm. is not replacing the driver with autonomous functions. Right. We as Nissan, we're thinking to use technology to enhance the driving experience, even in manual mode, mm -hmm. and also, of course, to provide the perfect autonomous drive experience uh, as well. Now, what we do with this, with the brain technology that we have developed, we are building systems that connect the brain to all these intelligent systems in the vehicle to increase both of these two aspects of, of driving. So we look at motor cortex activity and we predict that this person will be, we anticipate that this person will be moving in next 300 milliseconds or 200 milliseconds and, and so on. There's a specific window where we can look at specific activity of, of motor cortex mm -hmm. that shows signatures of preparation of movement. We predict the timing of the movement mm -hmm. from the brain and then how you support is done by the autonomous driving. And autonomous driving relies on all this information around the world. Now there are two situations that I, I would like you to, to think about. Novice drivers and very good drivers. For novice drivers, what happens? They can be late sometimes turning through curves, right? right. Then you can predict that they will be late already. So you can start turning the tires before they are, they are doing that. But after half an hour, they say, oh, oh well, it feels like I'm a much better controller. Right? For very good drivers, they are very sensitive. So for them, you cannot start just moving the tires half a second before the actual steer moves. So for them, we do a very precise prediction of just 100 or 200 milliseconds. So even a, a normal car would feel for, for such a driver as a very sporty car, because you have a car always responding, constantly responding faster than, than usual. So it's different types of driving pleasure, but it is still uh, driving pleasure added for both of them. In terms of technology, there is a hardware part. Mm -hmm. We developed this. We started five years ago with 64 channels, with a cap that takes 40 minutes to put on, and in two hours it, it is dry, mm -hmm. with cables coming out of your head and, and so on, and we are here. It, it's a plain wearable uh, device that connects seamlessly with, uh, with your system. <laughs> 